What's up guys, Kyle here again, and today, you guys asked, and I may have listened, or I may have wanted to do this for myself regardless. Today, we're gonna shoot out the brand new PV6505 II with the EVH5150 Iconic. Neither of these are real. Let's do it! guys hope you're doing great out there today if this is your first time here at my channel my name is kyle what i do is i take awesome high gain amplifiers overdrives guitar cabinets speakers pickups i record them with a simple sm57 setup and i give you guys the unprocessed audio on your end so if you're into e-standard thrash riffs drop c hardcore riffs and dudes who are constantly covered in dog hair you're in the right place hit that like button on the way out and consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any more of my stuff thanks Okay guys, so inevitably, you knew that this demo was gonna happen, right? I mean, I could not have both of these amps here in my possession and not do this shootout. We have the 5150 Iconic by EVH and the 65052 by PV. These are both new releases where the 5150 Iconic, as I'm sure you guys are all well aware of, is a brand new design by legendary designer James Brown in order to make a cost-effective full-sized EVH 5150 offering, whereas the 65052 here by PV is just a slight update to the circuit that we all know and love. Uh, it's typically the 6505 Plus and the 5152. The 65052 will be replacing the 6505 Plus. The transformers in this amp have been swapped out with the transformers from the Invective, and there have been a couple small tweaks under the hood, but essentially it's just an updated 6505 Plus with a new faceplate and a slight tonal tweaking. I have full demos on both of these amps up on my channel. I will link them somewhere in the description or a card or something that I always forget to do. So you guys can check those out. That way I don't have to talk about these amps too much. So we're gonna jump right into the tones here, guys. That intro track that you guys heard was my Dunnable R2DE with the stock pickups. I had the Deadweld Duality Boost in front of both amps. And that is it. Nothing else is going on here, guys. They are both going through my Mesa 412 cab with the Vintage 30. I've got an SM57 microphone on that Vintage 30, and nothing else will be done to the audio for this video. Both amps were on their red channel, but I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to kick them back over to the green channel. We're going to explore some tones on the green channel of both of these amps and see basically how much they differ and how similar we can get them to sound. As you guys probably heard in the initial track, there are some pretty noticeable differences in the voicing of these amps. I'm not going to bother with any clean tones here. We're just going to go right to the gain tones. Both channels are at 9 o'clock on the gain. All of the EQ settings, including the resonance and presence, are going to be at noon. We're going to have no overdrive out front. And let's see how these two amps sound compared to each other. Starting with the 5150 Iconic. <laughs> So as you can tell right off the bat, the green channel on the Iconic is much fuller. It's got a uh, much more or much less of a mid presence, I should say. The mids, that Coctua PV mid thing that's always been going on in the original 5150 and 5152, not really present in this amp on either channel, but you really notice it when you hit them back to back. So this one has kind of got the EQ smoothed out a little bit more. There are no pokey frequencies, whereas you guys know that this amp classically has that, that big coctua sound. Some people are not a fan of that. I personally love it. I think it's what makes them sound so mean, especially when you tune down, and it's what makes them stand apart or stand out in a mix. But a lot of people hate that, that PV coctua mid thing, so the Iconic immediately is probably going to be an amp that you're going to move towards. So let's go ahead and get these gains turned up because uh, we don't really do low gain tones here at Belligerent Amateur Central. And I'm going to apologize right off the bat. I have a little bit of a ground thing going between these two amps. So we're going to have to deal with some buzz in this video. Iconic with a gain at 11 o'clock. <laughs> All right. 
right, so right there, we've got more gain on the Iconic. We've got a lot more mids and a lot less base on the 6502, 6505 too, with the green channel. I'm gonna mess that up more than a few times, so get used to it. I'm gonna go ahead and bump that low end. I'm gonna bump the resonance, and I'm gonna bump the gain to see if I can kind of match the Iconic. <laughs> All right, the Iconic is definitely does not have as much mid content. All right, so as it stands there, once we gave the 6505-2 a little help in the low end, it immediately filled out pretty nicely. They're both fairly tight. They both have a decent amount of saturation with these settings. Uh, the Iconic is set a little lower on the gain, so let's go ahead and push the gain on both of these up. Uh, we'll say one notch here. I'm actually going to remove a little bit of mids from the 6505. I'm gonna add even more mids on the 5150 to try and balance them out, see how close we can get them to sound. All right, so the 6505 definitely needs some presence. All right, so they're pretty close right now. The major difference, again, is that mid content. The 6505-2 just has a lot more overall mids. I wouldn't describe the Iconic as scooped, but the mids are definitely way more leveled off than they are on a standard 5150-style amp. But other than that, they definitely sound pretty similar. They've got a similar gain structure. One thing to note, the presence on all of the 5150 amps from EVH comes on quicker than it does on the PVs. The PVs are kind of notorious for the presence not doing anything until you get it up above three o'clock on the dial. That is not the case here on the 5150. When you're dialing these amps in, the presence comes on faster. That's not to say that they're necessarily a brighter amp overall. It's just that that presence comes on a little bit quicker so you can run it lower in order to get the amp bright enough or to make it seem like the, the blanket has been pulled off the speakers. Okay guys, so overall we definitely got some more brightness coming from the 50 or the 5150 Iconic. Let's add some high end from the 6505 too and see if we can kind of get them a little bit more balanced out. I'm gonna bump the gain up even more on each amp to try and get it into more of a high gain, saturated type territory. I apologize for the buzz. There's probably not anything I'm gonna be able to do about that in post, so we gotta deal with it. So now it seems like since 6505-2 does have a little bit more low end, so we can begin to push the low end and resonance, which we have not touched to this point on the Iconic to see if we can get it to match. And just like that, they're pretty well matched. Right, again guys the the 6505 just overall has a lot more mid content going down going on with the amp with the mids at four it's got still got more round and present mids than the 5150 iconic does with the mids turned all the way up to eight out of ten so what i'm going to do i'm going to push those mids even more on the 5150 iconic we're going to give it a little bit more low end 
Uh, I have noticed that the 65052 is not as tight on the low end. The 5150 has a little bit more tightness, but it's not hugely noticeable. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna kick that Deadwell Duality Overdrive back in and we are going to see how each amp reacts to a boost. All right guys, so let's get a little bit more high end on the 5150 Iconic. Overall, it sounds pretty similar. It's just missing that mid content that the 6505 Plus has, or two has going on. I'm gonna pull the highs back on the uh, 6505 two to see if we can get these things a little closer. Man, they're just two different flavors of the same thing in my opinion. If you've always hated that 65052 mid push, the Iconic does not have it, but it's got the same gain structure. It's got almost the same feeling. It's even slightly tighter. So if you guys are going for more of a down tune thing uh, and you need a little bit more tightness, the 5150 Iconic has that for sure. This one has more mids. The two will probably cut a little bit better in a mix, but overall I have yet to try both. So we'll see how they do in a band mix at some point, but yeah. Uh, both of them sound awesome to me. Let's go over to the red channel, which is where most people are going to be concerned with anyways on both of these amplifiers. And guys, I really think that we have two awesome amps on our hands. I really don't think that there is a better or a worse. Uh, even despite people love to look at price tags to judge gear. Don't judge gear by the price tag, guys. Judge it by how it sounds, how it feels in your hands, how well it does in a band setting. Don't judge it by how much it costs. Yes, this was made to be a lower cost 5150 family amp but it does not sound like a lower cost 5150 family amp. A lot of people are going out of their way to compare this with the $26, $2,500 uh, EVH Stealths. I have the Stealth. I have the EL34 Stealth, and I think that this thing hangs with that. It's just a different flavor of the same thing. So you guys gotta try to stop looking at gear with the price tag in mind and just judge it by how well it sounds doing what you want it to do. All right, guys, I'm going to get off my high horse and we're going to check these amps out on their red channels. Here is the 65052. So immediately they sound really similar on this channel. The uh, again, 65052 has more of a mid presence cocktail mid thing going on. It sounds a little thinner at this gain setting. So let's go ahead and bump that gain up to Oh, about 1030 on the dial. And over here, we're going to do the same about 1030 on the dial. So again, let's get that presence up on the 65052 to kind of match where the iconic is. <laughs> The regular 65052 just has way more mid content going on, so let's go ahead, let's get those mids up on the 5150. All right, so the 5150 Iconic's also sounding quite a bit fuller. Let's get the gain up to noon on both of these. As it is now, I've 
upped the presence on the 6505-2 to try to match the Iconic. I've upped the mids on the 5150 Iconic to try to match the mids of the 6505-2. Everything else is basically set the same. The Iconic just sounds fuller overall in the lows. It sounds nice and balanced up top. It's bright, but not too bright. The 6505-2 has a lot more mid content going on, but it's a lot thinner sounding. So let's go ahead and bump the low end to try and compensate for that. All right, so the Iconic has more of a scooped thing going on again. It's tighter and punchier in the low end than the 6505-2 is, but the 6505-2 has the mids. So let's bump the mids back on the 6505-2, bump the highs up to see if we can match it a little bit. It also has a little less gain, so let's push the gain up a little more. Okay guys, so the 6505-2 definitely has way more of a mid presence. There's no denying that. It's probably going to sit better in a mix than the 5150 Iconic will. The 5150 Iconic has some of the low mids and the mid mids scooped out of it. So I'm not exactly sure how well it'll work in a mix. I am going to take it to band practice as soon as chance I get to try and test that out. But overall, more mids and a little bit less high end presence, whereas the 5150 Iconic, it has less mids but it, it still has a really nice clarity to it overall and it's also tighter without a boost i do not have the burn engaged on channel two it definitely has more of a tight punchy low end than the 6505-2 does with no boost in front of it so that is a nice feature i mean i could honestly see combining these two amps to kind of fill the tonal spectrum out if you really wanted to but we're trying to see the differences between the two so i'm going to go ahead I'm gonna turn it back on. Let's go to drop D. All right, so as the gain set, the Iconic is a little lower. We're gonna bump that up to six to match. I'm also gonna add some low end to see if we can fill in the low and low mids a little bit. Both sound great. Both are very much a 5150 amp. Man, I'm having a lot of fun. This is awesome that I get to do this. I, uh, I'm not gonna pick one over the other. I know you guys are gonna ask me my opinion, but I wanna see what you guys think without my opinion kind of swaying you one way or the other. I'm gonna go ahead and kick a boost on. We're gonna pull the gain back on both amps down to about four. And now let's compare them. <laughs> They don't sound that different, guys. There's some subtle differences. Uh, obviously, I have the mids dimed on the 5150, and I have them pulled back a little bit on the 6505 too. But as they're set now, they sound fairly similar in the room. Really similar, again, I, it's, that's just gonna be the theme at this point, guys. The 6505-2 is gonna have more mids. Let's put the highs at five, the mids at five. Let's bump the low end on both amps to kind of make up for that tube screamer that's engaged. <laughs>
All right, guys, I'm gonna bump the mids back down on the 6505, bump the highs back up. <laughs> The Iconic actually almost seems like it has a little bit more overall clarity and that could just be where the presence is placed on the dial. But uh, I'm gonna do one riff and drop C and we'll call it a day. Hope that this has been helpful for you guys. I definitely can say both amps hold their weight against each other, no problem. It's just two different flavors of a very similar thing. All right, last riff, drop C. Let's see how these amps sound, starting with the Iconic. <laughs> All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me today on this shootout between the 65052 and the 5150 Iconic. Please let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section of this video, not in the description, that's where I write. Overall, which one did you prefer? Which one do you think suits your style more? Again, I really don't think that one is better than the other. I really just feel like they're two different flavors of the same thing. So I'm not gonna pick a winner. I'm not going to sway your guys' opinion with my opinion. Let me know which one that you guys like and why down in the comments. I'll meet you guys down there to talk about it. If you like the video, consider hitting that like button and help me out with the algorithm and subscribing on your way out so you don't miss any more of my videos. In the description of this video are all my support links, including my Sweetwater affiliate link. You guys can also become a member of the belligerent amateur community by joining my Facebook group and my Discord server, both linked below in the description. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope the video helped. Kyle here again. We'll see you next time.